So I'm swapping my screen time for surfing this week. I'm on my phone way too much. I'm talking about while I'm doing laundry, while I'm in my car, while I'm on a date. And last week it really alarmed me because I was on my phone for over seven hours. I need some punishment. I need some discipline in my life. So the rules are simple. One, I have to surf the amount of hours I was on my phone the day before. Two, I have to do it for a week. And three, I can't skip days. This whole thing starts on Monday. Day one of swapping my screen time for surfing. I have never gotten it this low, but my screen time yesterday was an hour and six minutes. I am going to Disneyland in the middle of this week, and you know, when you're waiting in lines, you're gonna scroll on TikTok, so we're gonna see how my screen time eventually gets to, but for now, one hour, six minutes, I'm thankful. Let's get this. It's an hour. I forgot the six minutes. It's been an hour, okay? That's enough. I feel pretty good. Honestly, today was really boring. Today was super small, but I feel like it was kind of meditative. It was really nice. You're just sitting out there looking at the ocean and just basically paddling in circles. So I hope that tomorrow there's a bit more swell. There's actually supposed to be one this later this week, but I always say that and there's nothing. Um, I'm not gonna lie, guys. I got some pretty bad news at work and usually I would scroll on TikTok for like an hour to like numb the pain but i'm not gonna do that because that means i have to surf <laughs> for an hour tomorrow more <laughs> i'm gonna try reading a book at a little lunch spot and just hopefully feel a little bit better good morning so yesterday my screen time was an hour 45 it's a little higher, but I saw some flaws. If you look down, I was on my clock app and Spotify for each around 20 minutes. I think that was an accident because I sometimes leave my phone on the counter and I don't realize that the screen is on. So I'm actually gonna subtract it because an hour 45 of serving sounds fun, but when it's literally flat, I don't wanna lie to myself. So we're gonna go jump in the water and surf for an hour 45 minus 20 minutes minus 20 minutes, which is an hour and five. Starting the clock. Start. The water is getting cold, guys, and I refuse to wear a wetsuit. I am the literal only one here. I've been sitting here for quite a bit with no waves. I think I'm gonna go over to that side. The other side doesn't look that much better. But I'm just gonna go in there to kill some time. We still have. 45 more minutes. Okay, we finished the session, it's an hour and five. Today was flat. I just noticed something. Am I balding, guys? Like, I was having my hair like this, and then I was like, wait a damn minute, is that me balding? <gasps> wait a damn. We wanted to look like that. So I'm getting my hair cut right now and it's kind of weird not scrolling on my phone because I feel like when you get your hair cut, the only thing to do is scroll. So I'm gonna read. <laughs> I feel like this entire video is just me learning how to read. Oh my gosh, guys, I feel like a brand new bitch. I asked my hairstylist to fix my bald spot, so we added some bangs and I feel like it did the, it did the job. I forgot to say while I was in the salon that the reason why I really need to get off my phone today is because tomorrow I'm meeting up my friends to go to Disneyland, but we're meeting at like 8 a.m. So like if I have to get a surf in before, I have to wake up at like 5.30 and I'm not, I really don't want to surf longer than an hour tomorrow so I can have time to meet up with my friends because if I don't make it, they're going to leave me. I know this is such a stupid problem to have but i don't i don't want to surf for three hours before disneyland tomorrow okay i might shut down my phone just so i'm not tempted to go scroll because like the itch is burning like i haven't scrolled all day and yesterday and like i'm i'm itching to scroll good morning guys it is day three it is 6 15 a.m so we're here at the crack of dawn so i can make it to disneyland but it's it's literally dark out like I'm literally gonna be surfing in the dark, but that's okay because sunrise is in like 30 minutes. So I'm shocked how many people there are out at 6 15 a.m. That guy's just freaking reading. Like, what? The water's gonna be cold, I just know it. Oh my god, it's so cold. Waves are definitely 
bigger than yesterday, which is a lot more fun. I have my shortboard out today, which is a smaller board so I can have more speed. So yesterday my screen time was an hour and eight minutes. Today I only surfed for 45 minutes. So the thing is I have to go. <laughs> so let's just say today was a fail. I try my best, but tomorrow I'm gonna add the missing 20 minutes that I didn't do today, okay? So I'm not cheating, I'm gonna do it. Um, and who knows, maybe I'll do it tonight. But for now, I gotta go. I still woke up at like 5 a.m., okay? So give me credit. I'm here at Disneyland. It's been really hard not to be on my phone during this challenge. This is my friend Casey. So, hi. This is my friend. So, I'm gonna show you guys everything I've been doing that's not related to being on my phone at Disneyland. First <laughs> is eating. The next thing is the rides. I almost threw up. The last thing is taking pictures with the characters. I met Chip from Chip and Dale. Mm. Okay guys, so my screen time right now is two and a half hours, but an hour and four is from Maps. And I was just asking Marin over here if it's okay to not count it because I'm not on my phone and she said yes. Yeah. Don't count Maps, that's silly. So I'm just gonna go with her validation and if y'all give me hate for it, then you can <laughs> <laughs> mostly listening to it anyway. You're looking at the road. It's not screen time. It's just so I don't get lost. Agreed. Okay, good. Good morning, everybody. It is day four. This morning, I checked the surf report, and I was extremely upset when I found out that there is no waves near my house. It's completely flat. It's a lake. I even checked like an hour away from me, and there's no waves. I was really frustrated because I was like, I need to surf for my screen time today. But then I thought about the best substitute for surfing and it's surf skating. That's right, you can emulate surfing with a skateboard. So this is a specific surf skateboard. You can see the tracks here move, whereas normal skateboards don't move and that kind of emulates the feeling of surfing and it's also bigger, like it's like a surfboard. So see, I think it'd be fun to learn how to pump on waves with this track because I still can't properly pump. So we're gonna try with this. Yesterday, my screen time was two hours and 50 minutes, but we're gonna subtract the hour and six minutes I used for Google Maps because I wasn't looking at my phone. So that actually puts us at an hour and 50 minutes plus 20 minutes I didn't do yesterday. So we're gonna do two hours and 10 minutes. <laughs> okay guys, I've been seeing it's two hours and 12 minutes. So tired of skating, but I managed to learn how to improve my front side of pumping. <sighs> I need to eat. Here I made a chili oil noodle for lunch with chicken and vegetables. If you guys want any what I eat in a week, comment below because I make pretty good food and it's Asian because I like Asian food a lot. It's really healthy and easy. So comment below if you want some. Uh, you guys, it is 7 a.m. Friday. I'm feeling so tired and done with this challenge. Like, I think my body is just deteriorating from surfing every day and waking up super early. I'm feeling like really run down, but I have one more day of this challenge. But I feel like the best thing to do is stay at home and rest because there's no waves in my area. So I would have to drive an hour if I had to get waves. And I just feel like the best thing to do when you're not feeling the best is just, you know, take it easy and stay home. Right? We are on our way to Huntington Beach to surf. I'm not a bitch, okay? If I'm gonna do something, my parents did not raise me to not do it. <laughs> we are out here in Huntington Beach. We just arrived. Everyone here is like a pro though, so that's probably why I don't go. But I wanna do a recap of the entire week because it's been so crazy. One of the things I really enjoy is just swapping scrolling for reading. I feel like that has really been a game changer. Like the first three days, I was like, I need to scroll. On day four, I actually feel weird scrolling. What was it? <gasps> oh my god. I think that's Kanoa. And I only know that because I can see his red ball logo. <laughs> the next thing I learned is when I feel like I want to scroll, it's not because I want to get entertainment mostly. I feel like most of the time it's because I'm trying to escape. Unless I'm pooping. <laughs> I find that it's not because I'm bored, it's because I'm anxious or I'm depressed. And I feel like finding other things to help with that, like reading or surfing, 
is so much more efficient and so much more fulfilling. I am happy to stop this challenge after today because I've been like scared to glow my phone. Now it's like to the point where like I don't want to call my parents. Comment below Darmination if you enjoyed this video so far and if you're maybe inspired to get off your phone a little bit more. Yesterday my screen time was an hour and 52 minutes. Let's get this spread. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode.